Okay, this is your lovable widower and the next president of the United States, Prince DJ. I got a couple of rants for you, and I got a dream to tell you about. And, boy, this is going to be a doozy. I thought the uh, the music was going to play, too. Uh, but uh, one of the updates is, uh, well... I should be able to make it to podcast movement now. Uh, Jared did have a, a weird dream that uh, there wasn't going to be any invasion, invasion of Big D country uh, because he dreamed I wasn't at podcast movement. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, the dream lied on him because I will be there because I just sent in the, uh, I just sent in the, uh, my presentation for uh, how to cope with the loss of your loved one. I mean, the loss of a co-host and or the loss of a mentor. I just sent that in. So, obviously, there is going to be an invasion of podcast movement by Big D Country. Because Big D Country will be coming in full regalia with this invasion. And I will be covering podcast movement as well. Uh, sometime before podcast movement or during podcast movement, I will be having the future vice president of uh, the United States in with me. Not only to talk about uh, podcast movement, but also to talk about uh, his thoughts on being a candidate for vice president. And uh, he is also a veteran, so thank you to your service to this country and uh, all like that. So here we go. So yeah, so uh, I also did the uh, I, I when I did a survey I had of uh, fighter uh, energy, and I used to have some when I was in St. Louis. I mean they're good candy, they're very good. Don't get me wrong, but there was two flavors I did not like. Uh, I did not like the uh, the uh, cinnamon, or I did not like the coffee. But I like all of their mints though. Yeah, I love all of their mints so. I'd rather get more of the mints than the uh, the coffee and the uh, uh, and the uh, the cinnamon, cause the cinnamon tastes really too hot. Yeah, but anywho, anywho, any any anywho. Uh, yeah. So what is going to happen now is, well, I got to update. Well, I know. The strike with the SGA and the writers uh, just started. And it just dawned on me that even though I support the writers and the actors, because I was one too, what this going to mean for the late night shows? You know, it means they're going to be canceled. It means it's, uh, or it's just going to use, uh, it's going to use, um, um, syndicated runs or repeats, I should say. Then the game shows, except for Jeopardy and Little Fortune. I don't know about Family Feud. I don't know what's going to happen there with Family Feud, the Steve Harvey's one, uh, and all like that. But uh, Jeopardy has a plan B, and I know Little Fortune has a plan B, fail safe. All right. Yeah, so 25 words or less I'm worried about, too. I don't know how they're going to get through with the, uh, the writer's strike now. In full swing, as of last night at midnight, and I hope a lot of them is not picketing out here in Texas in the hot sun. Oh my God, I will I will be caught dead in that. It's like even being inside is like an oven, and it's really ridiculous. Really, 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 really ridiculous. Okay, so, uh, you know. Let's just start with the good stuff, and then I'll, I'll go with the dreams and, and all like that. Uh, so the good part, uh, the good stuff is uh, the one of the rants that I, I'm going to recover. One of them is a support rant for the first lady of uh, Big D Country, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the appointed self lady. I appointed Dr. Lee says, I don't have anybody for a first lady. So my first lady is telling me, heaven! And not with me. So, anyway. Uh, so, Dr. Irene is still being hit on by Rodney. To this very day. To this very day. And Rodney has a girlfriend that he's seeing. Long distance, of course. 
Uh, you know, he goes see her on the time that he had off, and then they don't get romantic with each other, but yet he is still hitting on Dr. Irene, which is wrong, and it would not happen under my watch. Under my watch, that will not happen. How can Rodney do this? How can Rodney do this? And he questioned my Christianity one time? Oh, no, 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 friend. What about your Christianity? And why are you still hitting on Dr. Dar- Irene? Oh, I've seen the proof. I've seen the proof. Dr. Irene always showed proof. Always. Point blank and without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. So... She knew his girlfriend already. Already. That ought to make an appearance on the Steve Wilco show. All right. Now, uh, I'm still keeping up with the uh, Chief Justice uh, um, fight with seeing his um, petty aid. And uh, nothing yet, but there is a little bit of progress. And uh, uh, the good news is. Uh, the good news is there is uh, progress on the uh, uh, the uh, situation with the pretty aid. However, they haven't seen each other as of yet. Uh, but I will keep up to date. And he does like me to do the rant in the uh, style of Perry Mason, which is uh, Chief Justice. So uh, once I get more of the information, I will do that in the style of Perry Mason. Uh I used to do that with my late wife. That's the only thing that I could do without crying because that might be going to be one of my specialty rants and stuff like that. So <laughs> I love acting out at other people in the, when I do rants or making rants fun. That's the whole signature of my show. <laughs> Almost the whole signature of the show as well at the NFL pickup, you know. And covering pod, podcast movement, also podcast. So... Yeah, that's pretty much the base of my show. And, and I do want to have guests. I want to be having, I want to come back to full time. I want to come back to full time show. So, yeah. So, um, another rant. This damn heat. It's not going anywhere soon. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is why I had to do the presentation early. Because what if I get heat stroke? Because all they get into my brain. Which is the uh the dream that uh, the dream that I'm gonna get to you later at the end of the broadcast. But this heat is going to to, to to be the death of me. Five days of actual uh, actual temperatures, not to feel like, but the actual temperatures are being one hundred degrees. Five days starting tomorrow. Five days of this crap. And then not only that. A heat advisory. Maybe it has such a heat warning. So it seems like you, you, you're sucked into the third level of hell. Yes, I said it. And I'm a Christian, I said it. A third sucked into a third level of hell. That's what it feels like. I mean, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I've already had, I've already had my last meal the other day, which is I had Subway that literally saved my life, even if it is for a short time. From the tenth to yesterday, which was the thirteenth, uh, I had a uh, uh, egg uh, ham bacon and egg sub, not sub the uh, the wrap, I should say. And I had about six six sandwiches because majority of them were foot long, so it will take a while to get uh, to get rid of. So thank God for that. And then the su- uh, and then the uh, the smaller wrap was uh, you know. Cause I had the boss, and then I had the uh, the uh, the uh, the Philly for the sandwiches, and then I had the wraps as well. But it's expensive. It really is expensive, though. And if any time I ask for help, please help me if you if you are inclined to. I'm gonna leave the website so you can go to all my sites. There's a lot of ways you can help me. You can help me with PayPal. Uh, you can help me through joining Live Good or joining with Got Backup. Uh, you can also help my presidential campaign because I want to make some noise. And that brings me to 
my next rant. Okay. Oh, God. This is going to be the two rants of the, the other rants of the century. Remember that time that they had the depth limit ceiling and they were stressing not only uh, poor people like us and because uh, they cause the Freedom Caucus want to cut so bad that we can't even live. They want to cut programs so bad that we can't even live. This is why I'm not even Republican anymore. I don't even it's almost like I don't even have a party. I don't even have a party. Okay? And yet some of the high ranking members of Congress, you know, the people that have been there forever as well, the people that have seniority, have a lot of money. And they had to go to ask for a raise, like an $8,000 raise or something like that, whatever the amount that they wanted. Because I just saw a video where, okay, I like to watch, like to watch a lot of these uh, stimulus update videos. And I saw one video that the Congress had the nerve to go to ask for a raise when they go on so many vacations. And yet they want to cut so many things, they take too damn long to vote. Whether the bill got to go, okay, what's that song? I'm just a bill. Uh, when they go through committees, they take so long. And then in between vote, the procedural vote, and then the main vote, they take so long. It takes days for them to vote. Sometimes it takes until the goddamn wire. It goes up to the wire. The last damn minute. It's like... When we used to have to do homework and we had to get up to the last fire or if we fell a class. Okay? This is re- and they want a raise. They want a raise when they don't want to help us out. They ha- they want a raise when yet they want to help other countries. They want a raise when they want to help billionaires and 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 corporation, and yet they want to forget about their fellow man. The very people that voted them in the office in the first damn place. The very people. And most of the people that vote that are on Social Security and they are disabled. Hell, when I used to be homeless, I voted every election. Every election. I only missed one because I was getting ready to move out of St. Louis. That was the only reason why I missed. Okay? But otherwise, I always had a perfect voting record up until then. I don't know if my voting record is going to be in Texas, but it's because it's so daggone hot. But then, thankfully, much of the elections in November anyway, thankfully. But other than that, I mean, they want to raise when they want to forget about us? They want to raise when they want to cut our, our much-needed lifeline and safety nets? And hello, Social Security, Medicare, well, I mean, Social Security is not an entitlement program. People pay into Social Security. Why do you think it's on there on the, ta- on the, uh, on the payroll or when you get paid, you see Social Security tax? It's not a damn entitlement program. It's not a damn uh, entitlement program. Stop calling it a freaking retirement program. It's not. It's on every time you go you go to work and, and you get paid and you have to pay different taxes and social security tax is on it. Stop stop saying it's an entitlement program. It is not. It is not. And I'm sick of it. Do something. Then if that's the case, take it out of take it out of the payroll tax. Don't even show social security tax if you want to call a time uh, uh an entitlement program. I am so sick of that. And then both the Republicans to doing it, calling that. Unbelievable. Unever believable. And they want to raise. They want to raise when most of us are struggling, trying to find out how the hell we're going to pay for food. There's days that I struggle for weed, and now I'm struggling, and I only, I only have two people, two citizens, two prominent citizens in Big D country that help me a lot. And yet I got a thousand and something people on my Facebook page, and a thousand and something people on my Twitter page, and two help. Two. Two. 
too. Two. And yet Congress don't even want to give us anything substantial when they're being a nice little mansion. Now, maybe that's not true for the uh, for the freshman class of Congress. I've seen videos for some of the uh, freshman class have to sleep in their offices until they're able to get a nice, fancier apartment, some $2,000, $3,000 DC apartment that they got to pay every month. Okay? If you want to go there, remember Nancy Pelosi and their fridge and their very expensive uh, ice cream bar that she likes or whatever like that? I can't even get fancy ice cream. Hell, I can't even get ice cream now because there's two fridges, there's two refrigerators that's full. The only place that I have room for is something is my drink. That's the only thing I got room for. Congress will not get a raise if I'm elected if they forget about the poor, the veterans, and now they want to forget about the military. If some people in Congress want to hold off a bill for the military, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? You want to forget about the military? They want to hold off a bill because just because they don't get their way. Oh yeah, Freedom Caucus. If I don't get this, if I don't get this, if I, we don't get our way, you're not gonna have any services. If we don't get our way, you're not gonna have this for the military. If we don't have our, our, our way, the country's gonna bust. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Are you mad? Are you absolutely out of your freaking mind? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. They need to be fired during the next election. They need to have other people in Congress that care. They need to have other people in Congress that are not corrupted. I left from a city from corruption. Now we already got a White House that corrupt, okay? And they stopped the investigation of why they found cocaine in the White House. I mean, Hunter Biden's not even going to see an ounce of jail time. Where's the justice in that? Okay, if it was me, I would be seeing a lot of jail time. If it was me and cocaine, I would be seeing jail time. Even if, even if, even if it was just drugs and I don't even take. Yet I still would be accepted in the RDAP. If it was anybody else, we would be accepting, uh, we would be facing jail time. Not Hunter Biden. Not the Biden. And yet Congress want another, and yet Congress want a raise? You have got to. Okay, okay, so that's what reality you want us to live in, right? Is that the kind of reality that you want us to live in, right? I am partly blind. I can't even work. I can't even work to get out in the middle of the damn heat wave. If I get out in the heat and stay out there long enough, I pass out. Do you want me to even die? Huh? Do you want me to even die? Do you? Answer me, damn it! This is ridiculous. We elected you to represent the people, not represent only the rich. When you represent Congress, you represent not only the rich, you represent also the poor, the middle class, the disabled, the, uh, the veterans, the military. You represent everybody. And I mean everybody. Not just, oh, we only want to raise things for the rich and don't want to help the poor. We only want to get tax base to the rich or tax base to the married couple or, or children. Yeah, couples that have children and not to the single people. That's not representing everybody. When you go to Congress, you represent the people, not just the, the not just the, 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 the privileged few. That's what you're doing. You're representing the privileged few and you're representing corporations. That is what you're doing. Stop it. They only care about yourself and the corporations. That's all you care about. Stop it. Just stop it. Oh, now that I got that out of my system. Anyway, I want to go back and tell you about, oh, my God. Now I got to get this over. Oh, I got to go back to going to my page just so I get to what I was talking about the dream. 
Oh, Congress wants a raise. They want a raise. They want a eighty thousand dollar raise. They uh, not eighty thousand, eight thousand dollar raise. Excuse me. They want an eight thousand dollar. That's what it was. And they want a raise. Unbelievable. All right. Woo! No help. No raise. No help. No raise. No help. No raise. Anyway. Okay, the heat has definitely gotten to me, or really gotten me. I had a series of long dreams uh, last night or this morning, whenever the hell I went to sleep. And one dream, now the spell check didn't want me to spell the right words, so I had to to say something down. But you know the star, the movie Star Trek V, The Voyage Home? Out of all the Star Trek movies, that is my favorite. Uh, because it was involving time traveling, and also they used humpback whales. But in the dream, I found myself in Star Trek. I found myself on the Enterprise, and instead of humpback whales, we had to bring back a computer. Okay, we had to bring back a computer to help save the world. All right, and everything was like all realistic too. I mean, even to the even to the transporter, you know, the one that that beam me up, Scotty. Everything was real. All right, same thing like the next dream. Now in this dream, I I was uh, I was at the officiate. The problem was, the problem was, it was on the anniversary. Oh, my late wife passing. I don't know how many years that she was gone in the dream, but I had I had to officiate a wedding of not one, not two, but three couples at the exact same time. It was almost sort of like a mass a mass wedding, but with three couples. Okay. Now they didn't say that they all they all was gonna pay me. They were gonna pay me well because it's like uh what I was going through and still going through at the time and I guess they couldn't find any officiating and um and I guess somehow they must have heard that I could do weddings and then well, I did it but I did it at a price and then the day it was kind of the wrong day. But anyway, so had to officiate at uh all at Three weddings at the same time, at the same place, the same day. What day was it? August 28th. That's right. You heard me. August 28th. So, after I was done with the ceremony, I ran off crying. I didn't even see... Uh, you may, uh, after I said you may kiss the bride, the part where the officiant said you may now kiss the bride, I ran like the wind. I was, I was gone. I ran off crying, and I was crying for days. Then, I was in a hotel, and the three newlyweds, I guess, had came together to place a TV ad to thank me, wanted to pay me after the ceremony, but I ran off. They said, uh, they said on the ad, they understood, they understood what I was still going through, and they called me a hero for doing this, uh, this special act for them on their special day, uh, knowing that I was being triggered on August uh, the 28th. So it was not even August yet, and I didn't even go to, uh, I didn't even go home the podcast moment. I'm already being triggered. I'm already being haunted by August 28th already. I'm already being haunted. It's only, at the time of this recording, it's only July 14th. Only. And it's not even August. I didn't leave on a plane. I didn't go to, uh, I didn't go to, uh, George Bush. To go to uh, Denver yet. And I'm already triggered. Wow. 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 So I will keep up with the majority of my rants that I talk about. I will keep up with the Dr. Irene situation. 
I will keep up with uh, support. Man. I was, yeah, they're both support man, but I would keep up with the uh, Chief Justice situation. And if I find out any more of this Congress, this lazy Congress asking for a raise situation, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. It's going to be a crazy time with the SGA writers on strike and the actors on strike. Crazy. Crazy. Are we even in America anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Help! <laughs>